Hi everyone! So this is going to be the long awaited pros and cons video and um, I hope that this video really helps you because I spent so much time and I put a lot of effort into this video. This is probably my most structured video um, just because I didn't want to do it kind of spontaneously. I wanted to write down the points otherwise I might have forgotten something and I might have started rambling a lot. So this is my big list, it's many pages, so I'm just gonna read everything to you. Um, and yeah, so um, I won't be showing anything in this video and I'm mostly just reading what I have written down so I wouldn't forget anything. You could just let the video play and listen to me and do something else on your computer while I'm talking. I created this list keeping in mind my own experiences, mistakes and just plain old logic. So the first part that I'm going to read is actually general advice. This, uh, these aren't like pros and cons, but this is just the general part. Um, usually people don't think about the consequences of self-piercing. So this video is a little reminder. You might think, if the piercer can do it, why can't I? This is definitely not true. A professional piercer is always more experienced than you. Don't start off with a place that is hard to reach, needs assistance, or is very painful to pierce. Always start with something easy, like an earlobe. Don't ever pierce yourself if you don't feel confident. It leads to bad results. Don't ever get pierced when you are ill, your body is trying to fight the germs, um, and might reject any new foreign object. Also, there is a higher risk of getting an infection. It is not recommended to get a new piercing during the autumn months because that is a time when germs and diseases get more active and spread more easily. Uh, so again, there's a higher risk of getting an infection. Don't be intoxicated while getting a new piercing. You might pass out um, or your piercing will bleed um, and your piercing will bleed longer because blood is a lot thinner when it has alcohol in it. For those piercings that aren't located around or inside the mouth, you should use Vaseline or petroleum jelly. It will make the needle go through uh, easily and you will feel less pain. Even though I'm not promoting self-piercing, I do know that it's usually cheaper and more convenient to do it yourself. So this was the general advice and now I'm gonna go to the pros. and. Um, I could only think of a few pros, but I guess you kind of saw that coming. Um, so the pros. It is cheaper to pierce yourself. You can mark the placement of the piercing yourself and get it exactly where you want it. Sometimes it is hard to explain to the piercer where you want the piercing to be. You can get piercings quicker and more frequently at home, providing, of course, that you have the correct equipment and you are educated on this matter. You can get uh, piercings spontaneously rather than have to book appointments or and go to the piercer and have to get money to pay for the piercing. Most of the piercings I have done were done spontaneously. I was just bored and because I have all the tools I need at home, it is no problem for me to do a piercing. And these were actually all the pros that I could think of and um, now I will say this at the end of the video too, just to you know remind you, but if you have anything, um, but please of course wait until you have heard everything, but if you have any suggestions, if you think that I left any kind of important part out, please tell me because I'm not saying this is the absolute full list, this is just something that I could come up with during a couple of weeks and maybe even maybe even a month or more. So this is just what I could come up with. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and tell you. Well, now I'm gonna tell you the cons. You might do it wrong. It often happens that beginners pierce themselves at a wrong angle. It usually takes only a millimeter for the piercing to come out crooked. It is more difficult to pierce yourself than anyone else. You might do it too slow and damage the area. You might hit a nerve or a blood vessel. You might get an infection or have complications during the healing process due to not having the correct tools that are also sterilized. A professional pierces uh, shop is always sterile. Getting the right equipment is not cheap. 
People tend to think that they can skip a few items to save money, but that may really backfire on you. You might have the wrong jewellery, whether it is too short or too heavy, or you just might have the wrong material and so on. Piercer, uh, piercing shops have a lot of different jewellery and they make sure that the piercing fits you properly. When the piercing is done by a professional piercer, your job is only to, sti is only to sit still and, and deal with the pain, which should last only for a few seconds. But if you pierce yourself, the job becomes a lot harder. You might not be able to push the needle through or instinctively close your eyes and not see what you're doing. This does sometimes happen to me too, but I'm a bit more experienced and comfortable with piercing myself and I do try to take the necessary precautions to prevent anything from going wrong. You might quit, okay, the next one. Uh, you might quit really easily and just end up damaging your body. If you want to stretch your ears after piercing them, you um, have to place the holes differently. If you pierce yourself, you may not be able to evaluate the amount of skin you need in order to stretch your ears afterwards. This may have consequences like blowouts or the skin will be extremely thin around your jewelry, making it prone to infections. Also, another thing you have to keep in mind is not to stretch too fast. Piercers know what is good for you and your ears. Like I said, I don't promote self-piercing, but if you do have the right tools, have educated yourself and are confident, I suppose you could try to pierce yourself. But again, start with something easy. I say this because I started like that and I'm fine now. I don't do piercings that I know that I won't be able to perform or I don't feel comfortable doing a specific piercing. Or if I don't feel comfortable. And let's be honest, most professional piercers started doing piercings in secret and later on got their degree and went to work in a piercing shop or opened their own. So this is my list. Feel free to give me a few ideas if you think I left something out and tell me in the, in the comments or send me an email. So that was the list that I created. Like I said, if you think that I left something out, Please tell me. I tried to go it through um, the list very quickly, um, and hopefully my pronunciation is acceptable, <laughs> so you understand. And um, and yeah, um, I guess this is it. Um, I will be soon making more videos again. Like I say, after every video. If you have any requests on piercings or subjects that you want me to talk about, then tell me. I would be happy to do them. And yeah, so also I will link this entire list down below, like in the description of this video. So if you need to kind of post it or copy it or print it out yourself, you can do it. And, um, and yeah, so see you guys soon. Bye!